I think I've always drawn and painted. I, I remember my grandmother giving me crayons and, and a little notebook to scribble on when I could hardly hold a pen. The funny thing though is growing up in a plan economy, which all the communist countries where there's no market economy that driven by supply and demand. Everything was centrally planned by the government, including education, and then you were coached what the government needed. So, <laughs> so I always wrote, I want to be an artist, I want to be an artist. We had access to West German television and radio. It was frowned upon, you weren't allowed to talk about it, and you would definitely not mention it at school. You know, you didn't really think about it, but now when you look back at it and you go like, who would put tanks and soldiers in children's books? I mean, it's quite bizarre when you look at it now. My view of what America was like, I got that from Dallas and Dynasty. I used to draw was like fantasy things, like, you know, pretty dresses and pretty outfits. So I ended up doing a humanities program focused on languages and later on did a university program in business and economics. So I think I had to go through all that in order to arrive here and do what I do now. I've always been painting, always been drawing, but really uh, never really thought that I could make it a career until I did, because it always seems impossible until you do it. <laughs>